Welcome back to the AAA MF YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video and also thank you for watching the Christmas special that we did at Bruntingthorpe. That video has now had over half a million views. If you haven't seen it, click onto the link below. Today, we've got amazing weather. We're back at Hanningfield Reservoir, one of the best spots in the UK. The sun is shining and we've got something very special. I think this car is one of the best manual, naturally aspirated cars ever made. This is the Aston Martin GT8 in Aston Martin Racing Green. The GT8 is very similar to the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, a stripped out road car. This car has carbon fiber everywhere on the bumpers, front wings, front splitter and sills. The bonnet and the doors are aluminium and this car also has the optional titanium exhaust which sounds absolutely incredible. This color is really special because this is the, exactly the same color as the DBR1 that won Le Mans in 1959. The suspension setup on this GTA is very special and the track is actually wider than the Aston Martin GT12. Why don't we have a look inside the car? I've been driving in this car for an hour and the seats are absolutely incredible. Look at this beautiful carbon fiber door. It reminds me of my Ferrari 360 Challenge Radali. Put on the clutch. I think it's time now to show all of you at home what this car is really like on the road. Welcome to the GT8. Now, there's a very funny story behind this car. I was invited to go to a photo shoot with my Lamborghini Performante Spider back in December. And the guy that invited me also invited Filippo, who owns this car. And after the photo shoot, I said to Filippo, can I have the keys to your car? And so he gave me the keys and he jumped into my Lambo and we drove to our lunch destination. And I'd never been in one of these before. And I actually, to be honest, didn't know much about the GTA. And I drove it and I was, uh, I was like, yeah, it's, it's nice, it's okay. But I was driving it on the streets of London. I wasn't really going over 30, 40 miles an hour. Anyway, Filippo and I stayed in touch. The next time we met up, I was in my GT3 RS 4 litre. And I said, can I have the keys to the the Aston, he said sure, and he jumped into my four litre, and we went for a, a nice long drive. And I got out of this, and I was just really shocked and surprised at how good it was. Whilst they've cut out 100 kilograms over the V8 Vantage S, this one still has all of the lovely luxury inside, which is synonymous with an Aston Martin. It just feels a little bit more sporty. The interior is absolutely gorgeous. You've got carbon all down the center console. You've got carbon on the doors, which is incredible. And then you've got a lovely Alcantara steering wheel. The car has a glorious soundtrack, as you'd imagine. But you can't really hear that burble of the V8 until you hit like four or 5,000 RPM and then it really comes alive. You get that lovely V8 burble as the revs are coming off. I think what really makes this car special is the color. It's obviously got that special Aston Martin racing green and in the sun, it just looks incredible. What's it like to drive? Well, the steering doesn't feel light by any standard, but it does feel engaging. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, a lot of cars, they feel heavy, but they're not engaging. This one does feel engaging. It feels like you can hold on to the steering wheel 
and direct the car in the direction you want, but it's not a nice light feel that you get on, say, something like a McLaren 650S. The gear change is really nice. The clutch is not heavy, which is uh, something that's really important if you're gonna be driving a manual gearbox. Now, I know that uh, Tim, AKA Shmi, has one of these, and now I understand what the fuss is all about. They really are beautiful cars to drive, beautiful road cars. You know, a lot of cars these days are made by stripping out the weight and therefore you get kind of bumpy suspension and um, you get harsh ride in a lot of cars that are stripped out and track focused. This car really rides nicely. The whole cabin feels very, very expensive and I think the car looks really expensive. I don't think that the, all the spoilers detract from the look. I think they really enhance the look of their Aston Martin shape. I'm trying to think of another car that really compares to this because you know, most cars now are dual clutch gearboxes or they're turbocharged. And this, this really stands out as being kind of old school manual naturally aspirated. The only car that I can think of maybe that would compare is maybe an older Ferrari, maybe 430 Coupe with the V8 engine. Um, that's got that lovely uh, Ferrari gearbox as well, the gate. But I think that's probably the closest you could come. Obviously the Ferrari's two shapes old now. And I think that this car still looks very current, even though it's two or three years old. What's gonna be interesting is to see how Aston Martin evolved from here now that the new Vantage has twin turbo engine, it's unlikely they're gonna bring out another naturally aspirated car. And if not, this is the last in a line. And it's wonderful. Why don't we summarize with five good points and five bad points about this car? The first good point, the looks. Looks incredible, especially in this color. Second of all, the cabin feels very luxurious with all the carbon fiber and all the Alcantara. Third, the sound of that engine. The GTA engine sounds incredible, especially with the titanium exhaust. Four, easy to drive. It's not a car that you would drive for say like half an hour and you'd be tired or the clutch would be hurting you. You know, you can drive long distances in this car and never ever get bored. Five, it's a limited edition car. One of only 150 in the world which means you're highly unlikely to see someone else driving it, which is a nice thing. Five things that I don't like about it. It does feel like it could have more power. So it's got 440 brake horsepower and it weighs around 1500 kilograms. However, when you're accelerating hard, you do feel like it kind of running out of steam. It's not really annoying, but you can feel it. Second thing I don't like it doesn't have carbon ceramic brakes. The braking feel is a little bit spongy. It's not as sharp as a car with ceramics, especially not as sharp as my Porsche 911. I actually can't come up with point three or four or five. <laughs> Those are the only two things that I've got against this car. I think it could do with a little bit more power and I think it could do with some ceramic brakes. And apart from that, I actually think it's perfect. You know, I started a YouTube channel because I wanted people to enjoy some of the cars that I've got and I wanted people to experience what it was like. And I'm very fortunate to have met a lot of people and driven a lot of cars. And I have to say, it's almost like <laughs> when you're driving these cars, you actually want to own them. I was recently watching a video with James, Mr. JWW, driving the four liter Porsche and he said that uh, this car is really pulling at his heartstrings. What's interesting is, as a YouTuber, you get the experience to drive lots and lots of cars, and you have that opportunity to drive a multitude of brands. And so it's quite rare that you jump into a car that feels completely different, or that feels so special that you actually want to own the car. But you know what? When I got into this car the second time, I actually wanted to own one. What's really special about this car is that it's only got 440 brake horsepower, but you actually don't feel like you need any more power. It feels just right. It feels perfectly balanced. 
I am very tempted to buy one of these. Listen to that sound. Listen to that engine. It's absolutely incredible. Wow, what an incredible experience, the Aston Martin GTA. Thanks so much to Filippo for letting me drive his beautiful car. Go follow him on Instagram. Go follow the GT8 club that he also runs. One of the best cars I've ever driven, one of. Stay tuned because in the next video, I'm gonna take this car and I'm gonna put it up against something even more special from Aston Martin. Please subscribe, we'll see you next time.